Even if I got expelled, it's not like news travels in three microseconds, right? We should be okay. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. People shouldn't know yet. It's Saturday. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Not before we read the text. Back at school yet again. They've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here too, actually. Running an errand for my dealer. Oh, really? So bad. Come see me when you're done? Yeah, for sure. P.S. I saw that woman that your dad... Ah, uh, where am I? Are you guys done? Hmm... Saw that woman that your dad was coming... Uh, was with. Coming out of my dealer's RV. What? Apparently she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah? Rachel? I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. 3pm already. Yeah, I don't know, would we... Would, pff, knowing the name of the person who's your dad's mistress? I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. Yeah, we have that at my school too. Five dollar meals for the entire day. You just pay five dollars and you can eat in there for the entire day. It's pretty sweet. Better than this Blackwell stuff, probably. Maybe. <laughs> We're not leaving just yet. Drew's room definitely isn't <laughs> this way. Boys! Dorm room. So not the girls one that we usually go to, huh? Isn't it this one? No? What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. <laughs> Hmm... <laughs> a new medium? <laughs> no one's looking, right? Tempest tossed? Hmm. Welcome to hell. Cool. No! Ah, oh, the closet door must have been in Frank's goddamn R. God damn it! <laughs> I always knew that one day Miss Price would leave an indelible mark upon this school. Nice, nice uh, impersonation there. <laughs> Interfaith? Just. Ugh. Is anyone else interested in starting an interfaith discussion group? Open to anyone and everyone. We are Blackwell's greatest resource. Let's celebrate and learn from each other. Looks like someone got rejected from Vortex Club. Well, I mean, whatever, man. Why be so mean? Ooh, Steph! Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. <laughs> Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well... Jealous? Yeah. So, what are you doing here? Duh, should I tell her? She's not gonna tell on me, I don't think. Well, I am going to see the Tempest too, so yeah, why bother? Just, just tell her the, the cover-up reason. 
Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? (laughs) Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, Kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. (laughs) Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. That does sound interesting. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? (laughs) There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. (laughs) Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but... Not if you two were together. Ooh. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... Um... I... (laughs) Just skip the question. You think we're together? Uh, well... Uh, she she's cool, right? Let's not let's not be an asshole. We don't know. Like I want to be, but t- Rachel will. Pff, I don't know. If Rachel wants to be with me. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I I don't know. It's it's confusing. <sighs> yeah, I I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? I, um, I actually really hope that we see it, because I want to. I want to see it. Now that I'm gone, Oops. Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I totally forgot that she was the stage manager, though. That was pretty funny. Why, yes. Chloe, of course you may look through that. Hey, some totem poles and ravens. Just what we wanted to see. Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. Exemplary work, Stephanie. Your creativity shines bright as a Milanese sun. Mr. Keaton. Wow. Miranda Caliban. Wait, she's a stage manager, but she's like designing all the costumes and shit too. Damn! Wow. Love is bullshit. Uh oh. Oh, alright. That was really nice of her to like ask about the whole Rachel thing, even though I don't think she needed to. It doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh, I don't have a school. But nothing feels different. Everything still feels shitty. And here I am about to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that Drew owes my drug dealer. This is gonna go great. It's not like you have anything better to do, Chloe Price. I guess no one's here on a Saturday, huh? Oh? Max would have jumped on that photographer position. The Blackwell Totem, spirit of the news since 1898. Come write for Blackwell's oldest and only student newspaper. Apply now for any of the following positions for fall 2010. 
sports editor, graphics editor, staff reporters, staff photographers, opinion editor. Very competitive, application required. Congrats seniors, we'll miss you. Of all the things, only the opinion editor is competitive? Hmm. Oh, hey. Oh. Sorry, are you like taking pictures here? I don't wanna... Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Wow. There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity. As usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. He's not even looking through the viewfinder anymore. <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? <laughs> Sprinkler. <laughs> Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... Uh. Never. What are you doing here, smoke weed de bear? <laughs> You're not still upset about that, are you? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Backhanded compliment. <laughs> Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... Really ridiculous. Yeah, whatever, whatever. We've given him enough shit already for the the list. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. Oh. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You should have taken my petition seriously. <laughs> like anyone else did. Did you really expect people to care? Rude. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? It's not wrong. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go... Evan, you're a hero of the people. <laughs> I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. News travels fast, apparently. Hmm. Well. There's all these little, like... Dandelion petal things floating around. I guess it's that kind of month. Hello. Oh, hey, Samuel. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Squirrel statue. <laughs> nice work, Samuel. Oh, that's actually really cool. Ooh. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. It's gotta be a graffiti thing. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Hmm. Well, you know, everybody's gotta do a little bit of reading. Get bored. As a janitor here. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. Whoa. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? I like Samuel's original voice a lot more. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Let's guess about whether Drew's here or not. 
I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. Everyone's, like, sprouting these words of wisdom here at me. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Ooh. All okay. right. Okay? Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. Oh. Are you saying that there's more to Elliot than he's showing? And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. It's not wrong. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Looking away, what the hell? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. <laughs> That's, uh, <gasps> deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? Whoa, Samuel. No need to cut so deep. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. <laughs> Well, that was weird as hell. Oh my god. I can accept all the teachers and students being like, Oh, there's a fire again. Being like, a, oh, Rachel is so perfect. But you know, when you have the janitor going, Rachel is a dragon made of diamonds. Like, I can't help but crack up a little bit there. <laughs> anyway, we gotta figure out how to get him out of here. Because we... We need to get a graffiti going on. So maybe we gotta... Do some crazy trick here with the... Oh, well, I don't want to leave yet, do I? Steph's probably biased, but she does have taste. Maybe the show will be good. I'm interested in Nathan. Nathan's role. Like, for a lot of the first game, a lot of what we saw of Nathan was, like, I don't know, he was a very nervous person, so... I would love to see him when he's not so nervous. Is there anything I can do to get Samuel out of here? I don't want to go to the dorms, because... We're leaving. Does it work? Maybe we can't go to the dorms? I don't... Uh, let me look around a little bit more. Maybe we've missed something here. Bench. Doesn't feel like it. Yum. Concrete. It's like the... <laughs> feel like a Hollywood star. Totem pole, totem poster, the totem pole. Evan, the bird. Oh, I guess there isn't much else, huh? No, there really isn't. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Let's try going in. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Samuel? Ooh, whatever. Oh. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? 
Uh, the sprinklers? But if we mess it up, the bird might go away. Mm. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. Uh, damage. But Evan is right there. <sighs> so we need Evan to go away first. How do we make Evan- Come oh. on. I'm really sorry, Evan. Sorry, little birdie. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Oh, like the direction matters? Yeah, there's another... There's another pile here. Okay. Let's try doing it from here. Evan's like, what the hell are you doing? Time for a fresh start. Man. Here we go. He's not saying anything to me. What a nice guy. Oh, but he's still... Why is he hovering around the freaking sprinkler? Mm. How about that one there? One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. Oh, that's no good? What's he even taking a picture of? There's nothing here. <sighs> so tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Where do we go from here? I don't really see another spot. That's the thing. If I can scare that bird far enough away, maybe Evan won't see me break that sprinkler. Just scare it generically. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> You're, You're welcome. Here we go. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. You don't think he can see that? <laughs> He's like right there and you were right next to the sprinkler. Now, Chloe, now! Alright. We can also get the graffiti while we're here. Because that's the important thing here. Mm -hmm. I mean, Samuel is kind of weird, but I don't hate him. <laughs> so let's not be mean. He's gonna know it's you anyway. The bathroom? Oh! Oh, because Samuel is the one who has to clean it up, probably. Yes! Okay, we got that one. Message board, next. Maybe inside Drew's room? Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the dorms? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Samuel. All right, now we're getting somewhere. All right, time to find Drew's room. Uh, hmm. Can we still talk to him again? Yeah, sorry, man. Desperate times call for smashing sprinklers. Sorry. We will return the favor someday. Who? Welcome, sluts! All right. <laughs> no time like the present. How do you know which one? There's so many! What? Chloe? 
<laughs> uh, hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? I left some stuff in my... my room. Mm. Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Let's do it. We can do it. I'm going inside, dude. <laughs> You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Oh, no mistakes allowed. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. <laughs> what? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. You're not a student. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't... You know, patrol. You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. Hey! I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I'm really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know which one. Ah! You're you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You you did. You stared right at them. Oh shit. <laughs> what? I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, <laughs> descriptive enough? I don't want to know. But... En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. <sighs> I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh oh. Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. But it's my car. It's clearly my car, isn't it? Oh no, Frank drove me here. Oh, okay. Oof. Ooh. Yeah, the truck doesn't work right now. All right. How's it going? Have you found it yet? Chill out, man. It's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm on it! I'm on it! Alright. Uh, what?! Oh my gosh. Alright, which one is Drew's room? Oh, fire watch alert. I thought this was the girls' dorm room. Is the boys' dorm like one floor up or something? Fire weather update, Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Culmination State Park fire now 50% contained. Additional road closures, check local media. Okay, that's good. I don't want anyone dying over our stupid mistake here. That would not be good. Thanks for the geometry help. I owe you one, Justin. Or, uh, Thanks for the geometry help. Oh, you one. <laughs> Where's the map? Here it is. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. I wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway. Only senior year gets dorms? 
You usually don't get dorms in a high school unless if it's like a boarding school, so it's kind of kind of weird to begin with. Hey, Warren is here. Huh. Drew is 110. 110. Not that it matters, because I'm just gonna check out everything anyway. Showers... Thou shall not pass. <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Is he here? Wow, it's so clean. I don't know if it's a good idea for us to be looking through this. Yeah, cuz... He likes us. I don't want to see anything related to me in here. <laughs> Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. <laughs> I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Damn. Dear Elliot, I am happy to inform you that your academic performance and financial aid status have more than met the requirements to receive continued aid. For the upcoming 2010 spring semester, the Prescott Foundation will cover all educational expenses, as well as room and board. It's only for one semester, though. Usually, you know right off the bat if it's a full ride or not. Not that it's a... it's still a good achievement. Wow, everyone's damn smart here. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. Is that Einstein? <laughs> Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. The computer science. A plus. Damn. He's... Maybe he's a little too good to be hanging out with someone like me. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? Hmm. Biography of Ernest Hemingway. It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Hmm. Did something happen to him then? Because... We don't know who the hell this is in present day, or all, you know, in the first game. I don't know about using his computer like that. Uh... Oh my god, is that a picture of us together? Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Dorothy Twister. Oh. Guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. Oh, I really don't want to read that. Elliot's mom seems nice. To Elliot, from Cynthia Hamden. Sinson at Hamden Net. They have their own domain. Subject, congratulations. Hey, yes, sweetheart. Just got a letter about your scholarship, and I couldn't be prouder. I've been showing it to the whole family. Your grandmother just said, of course he did, he's my grandson. Also, your father called again about July 4th. I told him it was too early to decide that you're focused on school right now anyway. But if you want to spend some time with him this summer, of course I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts over there. The only heart that's getting broken is his. <laughs> okay, it seems like his parents are divorced. Lucky Dana. From Logan to Elliot. Chicks man. Yo, Elliot, you got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Something... Say something cool about me to her. But not like I told you to do it. Thanks, brah. <sighs> Warren Graham is such a... nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Warren to Elliot. Worst movies ever. You're so wrong. I gr I'll grant you, Ed Wood made some awful movies. But so many even more awesomely terrible movies came out after Plan 9 from outer space. It's called the worst movie ever made, but have you seen Night of the Lepus? What's a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivorous rabbits? Warren. They're all nerds here. Huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Jesus! 
This is not Facebook. What the hell? Guardians of Hell, book th oh, Guards of Hell, book three. Illuminati eye meaning. Major Lucas Hampton. Oh. Is that his dad? Major. The Tempest, tickets, Blackwell Academy. Tempest quotes. Chloe Price, Chloe Elizabeth Price, Chloe Elizabeth Price, Arcadia Bay. Elliot Hamden, Arcadia Bay. How to tie a tie. This is too real. <laughs> Doing a little bit of stalking on me here. Oh, I don't know if I should be reading his journal. That's not half bad. When she left the room, it was electric. Flushed wings taut with agony. Okay. Dark. I see her in the brick and mortar, in the fresh cut grass. Eyes flashing bright like coins. The ferryman can't have her, I say. But the dark gods laugh. Ooh. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? That moment when the sun is almost there, the sea so welcoming and warm, when pooled light smooths the nodding waves, when shapeless cold infinity conforms to one stark plane, and for a moment only, all is possible. All say yes. My heart says yes. Her eyes say yes. <laughs> Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. They see her but don't see her. How is that so? When all the world is negative and dark, and she cries out a screaming rocket, trailing fire. This is all... It's all about me, isn't it? <laughs> Wait. Are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? How childish she is. How lovely and how cruel. Her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. How did you get that from this? You are about to die. That's because we said that we weren't going to hang out with him later. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh. He's just writing this down, okay? He never said anything to me, so I'm not going to judge him based off what he writes in his journal. <laughs> oh. We really shouldn't be in here to begin with. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get up before he comes back. Thought he was gonna be here for a sec. Whoo! <sighs> what? Well, we are on the first floor. Huh. Bathrooms. Arscadia Bay Skater Jam. <laughs> All right. Break a leg tonight, Nathan. You're gonna do great. Can't wait to see the show. Good luck tonight, Hayden. Hayden! Oh, yeah, people wouldn't be that nice to Nathan, huh? I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. The Blackwell Academy Board of Trustees would like to formally remind its community that though the legalization of marijuana is currently being considered at the state level, the use of marijuana products remains illegal at both the state and federal levels, Prosecution of marijuana use or possession on Blackwell's campus will be strictly enforced. This is obviously trying to make you think of Rachel's dad again. And then, you know, Nathan, Prescott Foundation. What the hell does the Prescott Foundation have to do with the law anyway? Why are they here? Blackwell Board of Trustees. No, I guess because they're part of the board. Hmm. Rachel and Nathan. Status-wise... They're probably like the two top families in Arcadia Bay. Oh. That is really gross. I wonder what Max would think. What is it? What is it? It's like some cracked open thing. What? Brain Decay. Oh, Brain Decay by Nathan Prescott. Nathan is such a creep. This is really gross. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? What? That is really gross. Brain decay. I wonder what Max would think. It's just artistic stuff. No, Max, we know what Max will think. Max thinks that Nathan has got style, even if he is kind of creepy. Great season, Mondo. Good luck at state. Oh, the otters. Whose room is this? 111? Hey, who's in the swimming club? I don't know. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. Someone we don't know. 
I wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway. We know everybody here except for this guy, Armin Fisher. All right. Trevor and Justin. Oh, like peas in a pod. Great game. You're a beast. You're a beast what? <laughs> Need to talk to you, Zach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely Drew's room. Let's get out. Oh, shit. Knock to make sure he's not here. What do I do if Drew's here? We'll think about that later. Yeah, he's not here. Do they not have locks on their doors? Well, he has no bed? Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? You're assuming he has any. What? Someone sleeping over here? What the hell? Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. All right. 0909. <laughs> a lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Arcadia Bay Shelter for the Homeless. Dad's address? Wait, so Dad's getting moved around, and then at the end, he ended up at the homeless shelter. Oh. Don't forget that uh, Drew is Mikey's brother. So they got two brothers here, but the dad is homeless? Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. 0516? Seems unlikely. Varsity Awards Dinner. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Yeah, well, like what Evan said before, right? You give a shit about the things you give a shit about, and that's good enough. Dear, dear Andrew, it is my great pleasure to award you with a full athletic scholarship to play football at Oregon State University. We know that a young man of your skills and character <laughs> would make a great addition to the OSU franchise, a football dynasty that has produced NFL talent for decades. Good for you. Plenty of possible combinations here. April 3rd, 92. Mike's birthday? Michael North? Emergency contact is Anthony North. Hang on. I hereby authorize the staff and faculty of Blackwell Academy to follow their best judgment in the case of an emergency and accept all medical expenses incurred. Now, yeah, waiver and release form. All right. Okay, cool. Might be his birthday. Durgeron. Yeah, that fucker's dead. Oh, was Mike sleeping here? Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. Wow. Great artist. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Yeah, it doesn't seem like financially they were doing pretty hot. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. Well, that's why he would work really hard on the football then. Oh, hang on. Drew's dad. That's the guy who had a job, but then, like, the Prescotts? He was working for the Prescotts, but then they, like, let him go? There were a lot of layoffs, and now he doesn't have a job? Hmm, so I guess there is a reason why Drew was bullying Nathan, but it's not like Nathan is the one who laid your dad off. <laughs> they look so happy. Yep. Every family has their own problems and worries to think about. Hmm. He has a scale. <laughs> Alright. 
I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. It's the same one. Dear Andrew, congratulations. In light of your incredible achievements as a high school football player and student, I am pleased to extend an official scholarship to offer to you. A University of Oregon degree is one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the Pacific Northwest. That sentence doesn't even make sense. The degree is one of the most prestigious academic institutions. Okay, <laughs> sounds like a spam letter. We truly feel that you are a student athlete who has the potential to make a powerful impact on both our team and our student body. As the head coach, I am here to assist and support you on your journey to success. The details of the scholarship offer are as follows. People, stop using Outlook. This is like Outlook or something. It's horrible. Huh. University of Washington. Hello, Chris. Oh, is it another offer? Oh, from another university. University of Washington. But he's going to Oregon State instead. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. From Zach. Quarterback Candy. Hey, bro, you have any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. You saw me take that hit for you last night, right? No one gets in my boy's grill on my watch. But hook me up, will you? Something to just take the edge off is all I need. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Everyone has their own domain, even though... The dad is living at a homeless shelter. What a game. Drew, what an amazing game, son. Couldn't believe that third quarter conversion. You've got moves, no doubt. I spent the day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing, you know. You know that. But I'm trying to learn. There's a remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take, so I'm gonna do that next. See about learning how to type, a, type worth a damn. Never had a type on a fishing boat. That's right, the fishing boat. Taking me forever to finish this email. Prospects for work are rough, but you know how it is. Don't worry about your pops. Keep your eye on the damn ball, and there's nothing that'll stop you. I'm proud of you. P.S. Give Mikey a hug for me. I'll be by tomorrow afternoon to take him to the clinic. Don't forget. Clinic. Is Mike ill? A chronic illness or something? Look at that. More numbers. Let's try his birthday first. <laughs> Random naked girls. All right. His birthday was... Plenty of possible combinations here. Okay, 1992, April 3rd. April 3rd. Damn it. Wrong numbers. 1992. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Something that means a lot to him. Maybe Mikey's birthday? Could be these numbers. I don't think so, though. There's six here. I try Mikey's birthday. Plenty of possible combinations here. December 27th. December 27th. Yeah. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Alright, let's go people, let's go! Put the lock back on and... Go, 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 go! Okay. Got the money. Time to bust out of here. Yeah. Calendar? Yeah, we did it already. Okay, go, go, go. No! Mikey! Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. 
What are you doing here? Looking for you. Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Oh, Damon. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. It's Damon. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you. I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah, bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking oh, shit. money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm good. Oh. Where is it? Oh. Please, just give me one week. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be No. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid. No oh. one steals from me. Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Oh shit, man. This is Ah. Oh, this one's hard. He told me not to open the door. Like the impression that we got from Drew in the first episode is that he's a bully, but looking through his room, we learn that he's not. He's just trying to provide for his family and he's not like Samuel said, everybody has multiple sides to them. Ah. Uh, so like, morally speaking, I have no problem helping him. But Drew is also the one who told me to not close the- not open the door ever because he's worried about Mikey. If I give Damon the money, I don't know, that feels like it's gonna be a- <sighs> There's a lot of problems because if I can't get the money for Frank, is Frank trying to get the money the same as Damon trying to get the money? I don't really know. They're both looking for a grand. Oh, uh, Let's stay in here with a brother, okay? Not because I don't want to help Drew, but I don't really want... God. Opening the door means exposing Mikey to Damon, too. And myself. Like, I don't want to see Damon. I don't want to meet him. Ah! Let me go! No! Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good oh luck my god. Me now. <gasps> bye bye, football. Oh shit! Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Holy shit! Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Oh, fuck, man. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Fuck, we're giving him the money, okay? This is fucked. No. Oh. Chloe might be a bit of an asshat sometimes, but I think even she has morals about this, okay? What? No, no. Uh. Here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I. I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad. 
He, he needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, uh, no. Shit. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. <sighs>